Hey, we're gonna search this area. See what we come up with. All right, everyone. Welcome back to The Last of Us Remastered on PS4. That was intense. You cool? Yeah. Let's go find him. All right. So in the last part, we made our way out of the city. No more hunters chasing us down. They probably think we're all dead because we jumped off the bridge into the water. And um, now we're gonna help Henry find his group. And maybe we can find something in that boat over there. So before we actually follow Henry, we're gonna oh, there's a crap here. We're gonna find some uh, more supplies, hopefully on the beach. And if that's washed up, ashore. Ellie's aim suggesting we check out this boat over here. Keep your eyes peeled. Way ahead of you, kid. So although we've actually um, escaped from all the hunters, it's likely that we're gonna be running into a new threat now, which is gonna be um, the infected. As it looks like an abandoned area, which isn't really being flushed out by any humans. So we're just gonna check around this boat. Looks like there's a note inside. Well First time on a boat. <laughs> well, it's a little bit different in the water. Well, it's looking like I've dodged the chaos and the mayhem long enough. My time out at sea is coming to an end. I'm short on supplies and this boat has been seen better days. And you know that you know what? This was bound to happen sooner or later. I guess it's time to see what's left of mankind. What could possibly go wrong, right? If you happen to find my skeleton, please don't step on my skull. Thanks, Ish. So Ish is the guy who's driving this boat. He's crashed ashore. And then possibly died nearby if, if there's infected about. Comic of hers. Sure, we'll, we'll come, maybe stumble across his body at some point. Let's check the bottom deck of the boat. We've got here. We've got a firefly pendant. We haven't actually found anything useful that we can use to craft. So we are stuck now with a brick, a smoke bomb, and a shotgun shell. Hey, Ellie! I think we found something. What's Alright, so these guys, these guys have found something of interest. Maybe a way off the beach. Go on, Sam. Hey, I bet this goes all the way through. It's kind of cool how the character's look changes throughout the game. It gets more and more rough hand looking. Hand. His, his stubble's um, overgrown. Well, it's not stubble's B, it's just overgrown and not kept. Alright, so Sam and um, Henry's found their way into the sewers. Alright, same time. Come on, let's do it. Alright, come on, kids, go! <clears throat> You go in. Okay. Hey, flashlights out. Sam, stay close. Someone's finally learning. <laughs> What's up there? Can we jump in there? Looks like it may be a secret area. Maybe we can find some supplies up here. See anything? Uh -uh. We found some blades there. Ellie's watching our back. A firefly pendant. There's also some weapon parts sitting on the ground. Can we jump up this side now? Nope. There is a dead body right there though. Alright, let's get back down. Join the group. Find a brick. Joel, we should see what's over here. All right, we'll check this side out. Okay, so they're checking that side. I'm not a fan of this place. Me neither. You ain't got much of a choice. So while Henry and Sam are checking the left-hand side, we'll go this way. See if we can find anything useful or maybe a way out. There they are, just there on the other side. We're gonna check this um, side of the gate. Maybe put Ellie, Ellie through this gap. If you can get it open, I can crawl through and clear that door. <coughs> oh, that is a big rat. A 
I've been a bit reckless lately with my ammo, just getting spotted too much, not stealthing through enough of the sections. And resorting to shooting enemies a lot. Okay, so we can quickly check out what's in this locked um, section. Hopefully we'll find something useful. Sewer's note. Do you think they'll join us? All the way to Tommy's? Well, I don't know. We're just gonna have to see how everything pans out. I'm gone for a few months and the world doesn't waste any time going to shit. Everywhere you turn, they're infected and non-infected. Trying to kill you, mankind is back to the food chain. Baby, I'm kind of shocked I've survived this long. These sewers seem pretty safe, limited exits, entrances, make it easier to defend. And if anyone gets in here, I can lose them in the maze. I might not be tough, but I'm quick. Maybe I just need to bide my time down here until it all gets sorted up here, up there. I think I'll become a sewer mole for a while. Wish me luck, Ish. Okay, so Ish is leaving little notes about for anyone that finds it, just saying I kind of what's going on down here and how his struggles progressed. What have we got up here? We got some pills. Oh, I don't want these pills as much as I want some ammo. <laughs> Even, I want ammo more than health packs, because, you know, as long as I can defend myself, I shouldn't be taking too much, too many hits. And Joel's looking a bit better now, he's not looking like he's holding himself, holding his ribs in pain. Hey, this way! Looks like there's a path up ahead. Right here. I think we missed anything down there. So we need to cross this water. Can we get out this way? Which way? Nah, there's no way to reach that. <coughs> well, I can't swim. That makes two of us. <coughs> Alright, Joel. How do we get across? I guess we gotta figure something out. Sooner these two learn how to swim, the better. Hey, this thing's on some kind of track. It's jammed. Look, a generator. Y'all wait there. Can we dive under the water here? Let's quickly check out what we've got below us. So there's a generator up top on the left there. Maybe we can unblock that. So let's scoot forward a bit. We'll um, try and unblock this gate. Looks like there's a bar blocking it. Yep. Henry, give it a shot. Alright. So I think the goal right here is to actually find a pallet used for Ellie or Sam to get across to access the generator. Because I think the ledge is too high for Joel to reach up on top of. The generator is going to turn on um, kind of like a platform that can move across to the other side. So checking this corner, we've got some tape. That's all we've got in here. Can we craft anything with that tape? Nope. And we've got a ladder on this side we're going to climb. Keep the, keep the flashlight on. There's a, there's a pallet right here. We're going to drop that off the edge into the, into the water. We've also got a door here, which sounds like there's a lot of infect behind it. It may be worthwhile going in here, in there if we can avoid actually fighting the infected and stay stealth. And hopefully try and find some uh, materials. So we'll open the door. Okay, so we've got clickers. Maybe we can sneak past them all. So if we actually go around the back of this one. 
very slowly, as slow as you can move. We can keep the flashlight on as well because obviously they can't see. But hopefully, if we just keep slow and quiet. There we go, we've got a health pack we can see, see already on the shelf. We've got some weapon parts in here as well. So our health's getting up there. I think those health packs really do heal a tiny amount as well. We've got some explosive powder. I don't know what that is actually. It's something you can use to make bombs. Okay, I don't think there's anything up on the upper ledge. Flashlight's running out of there. I don't think there's anything up there, no. And um, to get past these two guys as well would be a bit of a, a task. And we can't stealth kill them unless we've got a shiv. And we certainly don't have a shiv. Oh, oh, hello, hello. Let's sneak back out of here. And Joel doesn't know how to close doors, so we're going to have to leave that open. And just hope we don't get ambushed by them later on. So we're going to drop down now, get the pallet, take it over to um, Ellie or Sam, and they're going to go across the water to the next, the, the other, the other um, side. This is getting old this now, isn't it, Ellie? Let's go, Ellie. Oh, there you go. That's smart. Oh, I can't wait to get out of this place. So we're going to pop this against this wall. Ellie, Ellie can jump up. All right, see if that generator still got some juice. There goes nothing. Can I jump up there? I don't think I can jump up there. No. <laughs> So that platform's moving across. Wait for me. They're not waiting for me then, no. Can I climb up? Oh. What? I think they just broke the game. I think because I was sta I was swimming in the way of that thing moving, the platform. Wait for me, wait for me! Hey. I made it. Yeah, I think because I was standing in the way where the platform goes, the game just said, nope, and just sent me back to um, a checkpoint. So if I didn't jump on that just then, I would have had to go back up there, ask him to call it back, and then jump on it again and come across. <laughs> These guys are in too much of a hurry. Right, we've got a little doorway there before we carry on. Sorry, I missed that conversation there. We commenting on the um, the art, art on the walls. Whoa. It's a soundtrack. A what? It's a sort of alarm. I don't hear anything. Yeah, someone used to live here. Don't look like that's the case anymore. Uh, who would stay in here? Mm, someone who thought they could keep a place like this safe. <laughs> All right, so we got the house rules here. Make sure doors are locked. That's a, a rule Joel really needs to learn to close doors behind him. Ask for password if you don't know the visitor. No shouting and noisy play. Run to hiding spot when you hear the alarm. It's all common sense, really. Hold to equip. What's that? Well, we got a new gun here. It's some sort of ammo, isn't it? It's better than nothing. And I fear that's in the category of pistols. It's a shorty. It's like a sawn off shotgun, I guess. Hand cannon. It's got the same aiming reticle as a shotgun would have. We've got a, a book here. Oh, boss. Early uh, calm down. Hey, Sam. Yeah. Stand with us, Cole. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, did you see that? Let's keep it down, buddy, okay? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it really is sad, like, how these two are just kids 
You don't get to do things kids would be doing, like playing games. You just constantly got to be serious and watch their backs. I think we're actually going the way that that goal post was, and we're going to just quickly check this side first. Okay, no, that's the way to go. So before we do that, do go that way. Of course, we're going to go back again this way and check for any supplies. Nope. Empty. So let's go. Might be worthwhile getting the shotgun out. I could really do with an arrow here just so we could stay stealth. So we're going to open this door. Doesn't look too safe down here. Shotgun, um, shorty rounds, that's good. Gotta try and make every shot count. Trying to preserve as much ammo as we can. It's a clicker there. Need to shoot that one, he's dead. So that went pretty smooth. Took no damage. Well, I guess we know what happened to these people. Seeing how there was a clicker, they've been gone for a while. We keep moving forward. All we can do is hope there aren't any more of them. Okay, so we actually don't think we actually lost any ammo before the fight, you know, compared to now. We actually gained two shells and then got fired two, two more, then used the pipe. And we also gained a revolver round. So the ammo is still looking okay for the moment. So we've got a washroom back here. Should be some, like, rags around here at least we can pick up. There's a note. Is this another note from Ish? So it's a rain coat, rain catcher. I think it was called. Hey Susan, I just wanted to drop you a quick line and say these rain catchers were a great idea. Super smart to gather waste without leaving the place. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the kids a couple of water guns, so of course I've been drenched all day. If you don't want them to have it, let me know and I'll take them back. See you at dinner tonight. Fair warning though, Kyle is making a special meatloaf again. Ish. There's a little sad face as well after. Mentioning that they're going to be eating meatloaf again. So it looks like Ish was in a group here that was a family kind of. There was kids and a few adults. Um, that's, that's possibly Susan. And also the rest of the adults maybe were the ones that were infected down there. We haven't seen any kids yet. I'm not sure I want to. I don't want to see any dead kids. So we're going to carry on. See, in this game as well, it's not just the main story that kind of like brings you into the environment, the universe of understanding what's going on. There's so many little side things you can read and kind of like, you can read a story just by looking at the environment and the notes left behind. So many stories to tell. So we got some nuts and bolts here, weapon parts. We've got a door here, we're going to check out. Alright. So it looks like a kid's playroom. And these possibly are the kids that are covered in blankets, dead bodies. So we got another note there, cornered note. It's again from Ish. We're trapped, I think everyone else is dead. Some of the little ones are with me. I got infected pounding at the door. I don't know how long we'll hold out. If Ish and the others are alive, maybe they can reach us. If it comes down to it, I'll make it quick. If it comes down to it, meaning end their own lives, because they're going to get bitten anyway. So this guy looks like he's Kyle, and Ish is not here. So are these the kids that Kyle was guarding, and they managed to um, not be able to hold defense against the infected for long enough. So it looks like he's possibly killed himself or been. Because if you think they must have killed themselves for them to not be infected and be alive, or you know, undead. As you would say. So it's a bit messy in this room. Probably stinks. They didn't suffer. Okay, so we left a note. So we must have shot the kids in the head, possibly. <laughs> uh, it's a bit dark in here. So we're going to leave this behind now. Yeah, don't go in there, Ellie.
Hey, you think that leads out? Could be. It's too hot for a post. Maybe there's another way to get there. Where's he talking about the way out? Up there. He said it's too high for a boost, I think he said. So it must mean up there. So we're going to have to carry on going through this doorway. Actually, guys, before we go through that doorway, we're going to end it here. We, we haven't done much much, action, much of any action, well, apart from the few infected we killed earlier. This place has got a lot of stories to tell. That's pretty much what we've been doing here, exploring. So um, I'll see you all in the next part. Bye.